It was an interesting night last night. We were a little shaken up. We got here, we got settled. This is a very interesting campground. We're both kind of good at reading body language. The dog was very aggressive and charged our dogs. I almost tripped. I almost knocked into the slide. Last time we left, it was 16 degrees. What is it today? It's like 50. 52. 50. No more freezing. No. We're headed out to a local trip. We're going to try a new campground. You remember the name of it? No, no. <laughs> yeah. MJ booked it. I'm just along for the ride. It's called Jugtown Mountain, I think. So. Where is that? Asbury, New Jersey. Not Asbury Park. Not Asbury, Asbury Park. Right, right. So we're headed out, hoping for warmer weather. So we'll see. Izzy has Bowser in the RV with him. I'm in the Tesla, and I have Sierra with me. She's sleeping back there, I think. We're trying to now start getting the dogs more used to riding in the RV because in a year and a half, Todd and Z's retirement, we're gonna be traveling a lot more and bringing them with us a lot more. Because, you know, a lot of times now we just keep them at home with a sitter. It's just easier for them. We wanna get them used to it. So Bowser's doing really well. He just kind of chills on the sofa. Sierra's gonna take a little longer because she's got some fear issues. So we're gonna work that out, but we're doing one at a time. Bowser's in there doing great. We have about a half an hour to go. We're, this campground's about an hour and nine minutes from home. So this is a new one we're trying. We're excited to bring you a campground review and you know, bring you along on this trip, but we'll let you know how it is. And as we've been saying in our recent videos, guys, YouTube seems to be unsubscribing people to our channel. Not sure why, whatever it is, whatever the reason may be, but just quick double check that if you wanna be subscribed, that you still are. We got settled in last night. It was an interesting night last night. We were a little shaken up, which is why we didn't record last night. So we got here, we got settled. This is a very interesting campground. And only like New Jersey could do it. <laughs> we'll get into that in a little bit and more so into the campground review. But we got here, we had a nice dinner. Usually we'll get something easy. I got some Trader Joe's like Japanese rice. We had some some tofu from Jap from Trader Joe's. They have some really great stuff there. Anyway, we had that. Then we took the dogs out for a walk. You want to tell them what happened after that? So by this point, it's dark out. and it's still, it's not daylight savings yet. So it's still dark out. And I'm walking behind MJ with Bowser and I just hear you start kind of screaming. I didn't really see anything. So one of our, I'll say this loosely, one of our neighbor's dogs was out and about just out. The neighbor decided to let the dog out to do whatever, but the dog was obviously aggressive and charged our dogs. And, you know, we're both kind of good at reading body language and it wasn't a friendly, it was kind of quiet, right? The dog was very tense. The dog had bad intentions. And, you know, Sierra, she doesn't look for problems, but- <laughs> But if they're brought to her- so She's not gonna back away from a problem either. So she was, she was ready to go. I had Bowser essentially dragging him back into the RV and you were trying to do the same as the dog was continuing yeah. to make move its move. Forward. Yeah. Yeah, I was yelling at the dog. I was saying, stop. No, you know, a lot of times you do this. And guys, I, I don't know if I've mentioned this in videos before, and this was the one time I didn't do it and I was kicking myself. I always wear a bag and I always bring treats with me on walks, either if I'm training the dogs or whatever, but specifically when an oncoming dog who may not be friendly, just like that, is coming. A lot of times I'll tell people or clients, take a handful of treats and just throw it as far as you can over the dog, at the dog, whatever. And a lot of times it'll be enough to kind of startle them and make them then start eating and you can get out. It's the only time I didn't bring it anyway. So we were trying to keep this dog at a distance and get to her car. I almost tripped. I turned around. The slide was there. I almost knocked into the slide. The leash was this close to being out of my hand. I'm getting all like upset thinking about it. I was shaking like crazy. But this dog kept coming and Sierra, 11 years old, cancer, my little senior sitter, she's like, let's go. Come on, come on. She will. So she will Sierra was ready to go. She was. She Again, she doesn't look for things, but if something comes out her, she's going to defend herself. So we got the dogs into oh. the RV. I was, I was not happy. Uh, I went back out. The dog came yeah. back out oh to charge God. at me. And then the owner called it. So I found where the owner was and knocked on the trailer. I spoke to her and just kind of let her know what went on and why your dog should not be out. In a nice way. Why your dog should not be out in the dark without a leash on. And she apologized and we saw that dog this morning again and the uh, dog was on, on a leash. leash. Thank God. It was two of us with two dogs. I don't know if the, the dog's aggressive to kids. He was acting very aggressive toward me without the dogs. So 
why somebody will let their dog out. The people that are here probably just do this. I'll oh, just go out and, you know, there's not a lot of campers here or whatever. You can't do that. And we've done so many videos about this, but it was scary. Yeah, that's the last thing you want, right? You get a, a, a tangle in a dog fight and, you know, we wind up getting hurt, the dog gets hurt, whatever. It's just a PSA. I know more, most of you viewers out there, you're not that person, but put in the comments below, have you seen this? I'm sure this has happened to quite a lot of people because this is not the first time it's happened to us. We've been out on hiking trails and not people letting their dog out, but the dog's just not on leash and they have no control of them. You right. just can't do that. It wasn't really the way we wanted to start our trip, but it's done. We have a beautiful day today, absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna be like 55 degrees, it's sunny, and we're gonna take the dog, we're gonna do a couple videos and then we're gonna take the dogs to a place that I looked up that looks like really nice for hiking and things like that. Take them out there, they will absolutely love it. And then we're gonna grab some dinner. We're gonna go out for dinner later. We're eating in tomorrow night, ate in last night. We're gonna treat ourselves tonight. Go to this cool little diner. It looks like a train station. It looks, we've, I see it all the time on seven, Route 78, but we never stop there. So we're gonna do that later on. We do wanna thank the sponsor of this video, RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. They make RV specific mattresses. We've had one in our RV for over two years. We absolutely love it. It's so comfortable. They have products for your home as well. If you're a part-time RVer, you can get the mattresses for home. We have one for Jason. They have cooling pillows weighted blankets, sheets, all different sorts of products. What I love about it is that you have a 120 night sleep trial to try it out. So take it for a few months, use it. If you don't like it, you can ship it back. You don't have to keep it. Yeah, they make all different types of RV specific mattresses. So if you want a foam, coils, a hybrid of both foam and coils, they have them. We have a memory foam. We absolutely love it. They're headquartered in the USA, which is pretty awesome. And if you use the discount code, endless. You you will get 25% off of your purchase. And again, they have all different specific RV mattresses, which you know, if you have an RV, it's like those weird shapes mm -hmm. and whatever. And they also have things from home. So it's right. pretty awesome. And if you're a full-time RVer, guys, you can get it just shipped right to your front door at your campground. Yeah, so we're gonna put the link down below if you wanna get a good night's sleep and you're tired of that crappy stock mattress that comes from the factory, go check them out. We're in another beautiful part of New Jersey again. But there's a lot of nice parts of New Jersey. The campground is, like we said, it's it's a little e. But uh, the Warren County area is very pretty. There's a lot of farms and just open open areas. So we're taking the puppers that are back there. We are taking them to I think we had maybe mentioned earlier Merrill Creek reservoir which is a really nice place to go apparently there's beautiful trails and that kind of thing and it's such a gorgeous day guys oh my yeah, god it's like, it's like 55 and just yeah we've had like two big snows this year both like right before the trip yeah. so we're supposed to take but we got out okay but yeah no i think we're out of the danger of snow now in jersey yeah, moving into spring So we want to give you a little retirement countdown here. We're at 511 days. Now, there's probably only like 300 something working days in there because of- Unused you know, time. Yeah. So it's very exciting. We're getting closer. We were just talking in the car and Izzy said to me, okay, money was no object. What RV would you want? And I actually surprised him with my answer. He thought I would say something different. I say Super C, of course, Super C. Probably one of the Renegade classics we looked at in Tampa, which was, oh my God. Or a show hauler, right? Or a show hauler, like decked out, painted, not the white, like paint job. That's what I would want. And Izzy said, really? Not a Prevo? Not a used Prevo? Which means that's what Izzy Yeah, said. well, no, it would kind of be a toss up. I'd, I'd have to, we would have to really like kind of debate the pros and cons of each. They both have pros and cons, of course. In the comments below, who's team Super C? for us whose team used Prevo can live in a state for your whole life what am I here 50 years and still never see half of what the state has to offer and this is beautiful so this is Merrill Creek Reservoir as we said so it is a 650 acre reservoir surrounded by a 290 acre environmental preserve and 2,000 additional acres of woods and fields and it's absolutely beautiful we, we've never never heard of it and have never been around here but it's a gorgeous view on a nice day like today the beautiful thing about having seen your dogs is that it doesn't take as long to tire them out so we just went on it was about a 45 minute trail walk and they are 
done. They'll sleep. They're done. Yeah. So they're good for the day. They, they By the end, they're just like walking like, really, guys, can you carry me? For those of you that are always ask about Sierra, if you're new to the channel, Sierra has cancer. She has tumors on her. It's mast cell skin cancer. But March 19th, 2024 is the two year anniversary of when she was diagnosed and she is still going strong. She's great, energetic, you know, for what an 11 year old ish should be. So she's doing great. It's really just turned out to be a really nice day. The weather has been perfect. Beautiful. Sunny. Although tomorrow is supposed to rain. We're headed out to a diner. They have what, a hundred and five pound hamburger? What's have, the deal? Yeah, what, they have tell this, them what the deal so is. So they have this burger challenge <laughs> and it's a hundred and five pound burger is like six hundred something dollars. And if nine of you and nine of your friends can eat it, you win two thousand dollars. I think it's was it an hour? I oh, mean no. yeah. And then they That's have like possible. they have like a fifty pound burger and then they also have like the world's I think the world's smallest burger, nano burgers or something. They were featured on the food network. We're not getting burgers, but it's pretty cool. A hundred and this insane. Yeah, so Clinton Station Diners. We're not gonna have any. Of that. The hundred five pound burger deluxe, I think, is like six hundred and thirty dollars or something like that. Yeah, that's a little insane. We're loving this car. You love this car, don't you? I love my car. About I it. do. My brother asked me, he's like, Oh, how's your Tesla going? Does MJ like it? I'm like, she loves it. She absolutely loves it. So Oh, you're going to make it? A uh, nice throw. Yeah, no, I love my car. I really do. I've had it, well, in July, it'll be a year already. Yeah, wow, it's crazy. No, it's, it's been great. It's been flawless. So yeah, it's been great. We'll go find a charger. We have to stop at a Rite Aid or Walmart, or CVS, something. got to get a couple of things. But we're going to just enjoy. Dogs are sleeping. Have a nice dinner out. So when we leave New Jersey, which we will, there's one unfortunate thing we're going to leave behind. You just can't beat it, guys. The diners in New York City, New Jersey, it's just really hard to beat. And now we have found another gem. This place is open 24-7, 365. Their dessert menu, everything is made here. They bake their own bread, all their desserts. Hand cut fries. Uh, like, the it's the all food was really it was good. Delicious. And delicious. and just an obscene amount of food. Yeah. We would definitely be back for here for sure, right, right in the like, area. It's like an hour from home. Yeah, we'd it, have to be in the area. Yeah. But if you're ever going on 78 through Jersey, it's right over the border. In you'll Clinton. see it in Clinton. You'll see it kind of looks like a well. It is a one part of the restaurant is a railroad cart that they use as part of the restaurant. Stop in. They have ample parking here and you won't be disappointed. The food is excellent. So yesterday was a beautiful day outside. Gorgeous. Today is cold, cold and rainy with like a biting wind. So today is a cozy on RV day. These guys are enjoying it. They got a couple walks already, but hanging out, being cozy on Nelly today. And we're gonna do a little housekeeping stuff. So Izzy has a little project that he's been meaning to do, and this is the perfect day to do it because we're gonna be hanging around. We did a couple videos. I'm gonna have him tell you what he is about to do. So my project for the day is, we have the dog house over here. So if you're not familiar with gas motorhomes, the engine's kind of right here. And in the summer, this can get really hot. Noise is not that big a deal, although this kind of, this project's gonna address twofold. I brought this sound deadening thermal shield, kind of pre-cut, it's got really good reviews. I think this is 20 mil, but you can see here, it's a two-sided tape. I'm gonna take that doghouse off and then just cover the inside. With this, A, really for the heat, but B, if it can sound then a little more, and test it out. And then if this does, stuff works, I'll kind of maybe put this on some of the uh, the bays, doors, and different places just to quiet things down here a little bit. But let's talk about this campground. Woo. Not much to talk about. <laughs> we did a campground review on this. It'll be out in a couple of days, but to say the least, we won't be back here. And it's, listen, it's not the worst place we've been to, but well, don't say say too much. They have to not watch. The best place we've been it's to. very interesting. It's an interesting place, but go check that video out. And it, it should be out in the next couple of days. Yeah, you'll find out about that. So first off, a little bit of credit to Newmar because they did. It appears there's some like insulation behind this, but I just doubled it up. This is actually, it adds some weight. So uh, it took me what, 45 minutes, an hour yeah. or so. That's the dog house. And then I also have the kind of cup holders. I, I didn't go crazy on this, but I did some insulation. It was to protect against the heat, a lot of vibration. Get this back installed. Hopefully it's a little bit quieter. I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make, but the good thing is, is that I have a whole bunch of these panels left that I can probably get some sand deadening on the entry door and then on some bay doors a little later in the season. 
So if you don't know, we have a membership to our channels called the ERV Insiders. It's a paid membership. It was a four ninety nine a month. Yeah, yeah, I think there's so. no requirement to join. Some of the benefits that the insiders get, they get early access to videos, and then they do like once in a while we'll do special live streams just for the insiders, which is what we're about to do now. And we usually get this one person waiting. Right now. We, we usually <laughs> yeah. get you know ten, twelve, fifteen it's people. It's nice. It's great get to chat. We only have like what 60, 70. 65, 70, something like that. Yeah, uh, we're it's a small group and we just it could be rv related but a lot of times yeah, just, just about life out. really yep. so it's pretty cool we're about to start that so we're getting ready to go we got a lot of rain yesterday so this campground we said earlier we'll do a full review on it it doesn't have good drainage and of course we got a lot of rain but even when we got here from the rain a couple of days before there were just like lakes of <laughs> was, water everywhere i think that we got was, a couple inches yesterday yeah, it was, it was bad. yeah we got a lot of rain it was I'm going hoping we can get out of here i think we can because it's kind of on a gravel side but there's there's a lot of potential places to get stuck here <laughs> fingers crossed well today it's a beautiful day we woke up to sun and lots of puddles but it is what it is so as we mentioned this is not a campground that we would really recommend but we had a wonderful, wonderful trip because it doesn't really matter like where you are, but it's the company that you keep. He's up there, right? So we had a really good time. Spring is right around the corner. So again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to be. And to the left of us, we will put, what do you want to put, hun? We'll put our RV campground reviews and we'll put our RV vlogs playlist. And from Izzy and myself, Journey of Lifetime, and we will see you on the road.